and another important term is maximum allowable working pressure or mawp this is the maximum gauge pressure at the top of a vessel for normal operating position at designated constant temperature so normal operating position means either it can be vertical or a horizontal vessel so in whichever case pressure gauge at the top of the vessel uh, that is calculated and it includes static head for applicable part let's say specifically for the lower parts in, in uh, liquid service especially we have static head due to liquid column which is uh, has the maximum value at the bottom of the vessel so that is also included in this calculation for calculating mwp we use nominal thickness minus corrosion allowance and it is also important that this value is the basis for your pressure relief device setting now one key concept about uh, mwp is that at the same time it can be a maximum value as well as it is a minimum value as well and we'll explain how so maximum value in a sense that this is the maximum pressure that a component can take or bear and least value because we calculate mwps for each component and select the least value among them let's say we have 10 components like shell head nozzles flanges bolts gasket etc then separate mwp is calculated for each component let's say mwp 1 mwp 2 3 4 and so on and the least value among these mwps will be selected for the overall mwp of the vessel and the same is stamped on the uh, pressure vessel name plate and we have few more definitions like lethal substance lethal substance is any poisonous liquid or gas which are dangerous to life even in very small quantity so this is very important that even very minor exposure of them can be uh, very hazardous or fatal so those are called lethal substances and we have a specific and very uh, restrictive code requirements uh, separately in the code and thickness of the vessel wall so there are various thicknesses so first is the required thickness this is the thickness that we compute as per code division calculation formula without corrosion allowance then if you want to get to design thickness you will add the sum of required thickness plus allowances which can be corrosion uh, machining allowance or even erosion allowance and finally nominal thickness nominal thickness is the commercial thickness selected for manufacturing and sometimes uh, these are the two values that define mwp and design pressures these are common keyword which are very familiar like construction and vessel manufacturer but but this specific definition come from the code itself so construction is an all inclusive term comprising of materials design fabrication examination inspection testing certification and pressure relief requirements so this all requirement will club into a construction detail and vessel manufacturer some of the roles of uh, vessel manufacturer is that he constructs a vessel component in accordance with the rule of dis division that is his responsibility and he holds an asme certificate of authorization to apply the certification mark which for let's say division 1 it can be u or u1 we call it for division 2 it is u or u2 and for division 3 it is u3 and final to user so sometimes this is the ideal description of a user which is easy on the launch year so the user or his designated agent shall establish the design requirements for pressure vessels taking into consideration factors associated with normal operation start up shut down and upset well it seems from the picture that user has a lot to say in a lot of uh, design basis points and these are design basis points or the, the the points that define how a vessel will operate and what it will be so user or his designated agent can be licensor or any uh, epc contractor they have to uh, 
define a lot of things like material selection and fluid property comes from them operating and design conditions like temperature pressure and other factors will come from them dimension and orientation dimensions can be length breadth height or diameter as well as for orientation we can have a uh, vertical vessel it can be horizontal vessel and then allowances such as corrosion allowance also will come from the user lethal service whether is the service will fall under lethal service this also will be required from them and service based pwst requirement such as if we have fluid such as caustic or a mine or other solution that can uh, have the probability of cracking then we can have the pwst requirement apart from the code and any upset or cyclic condition this also will be defined by them vessel support it can be lug type uh, legs skirt this also will be defined there uh, vessel loadings then we have paint and coating requirements or insulation and fireproofing this comes from the user itself and then we have wind or seismic applicable code this uh, normally comes due to local jurisdiction or regulation of that area and if code it is not covered in the code then we can also have nd requirement mandated by the user and what will be the attachment to the vessel this all comes from the uh, end user or his designated agent so the role of user is very crucial and they are the ultimate owner of the vessel